Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lauren Fix. We have a new level of high performance fun, the 2022 Hyundai Elantra N. Now, this vehicle is a little different than the regular Elantra. This is not an N line. This is the N, the high performance version. Now, first off, what does N mean? Well, in reality, Hyundai says it's Nam Yang, but a lot of enthusiasts say it's the Nürburgring, the very famous racetrack in Germany. I've been on that track, and it is a really challenging track. Certainly something to do if you're ever in Germany. If you're from there, put your comments down below on that. If this is your first time here, we do more than first drives and car reviews. We give you car smarts because knowledge is power. We're here at Sonoma Raceway to test the Elantra N to see if it actually performs like they say. The designers say they've made a lot of changes, so this is more than just a regular four-door sedan. So let's start off with some of the changes. You'll notice these headlights look very similar to that of the Elantra, but when you come down here and you see this N, this is a statement. This means you're looking at a performance version of this car. Now, how do you denote it on the street? Because there's a lot of cars in the street. It's this red line. And you'll see this red line carried all the way around the perimeter of the car. And you'll notice inside some really special details that make this vehicle what it is. Starting off with this front end is wider. It's a bigger grill. It's a little bit more aggressive. Then when you move your way around to the side, these are 19 by 8 inch wide alloy wheels. And they're running on Michelin Pilot Sport S. This is a very sticky tire. This is not an all season tire. This is a summer performance tire. Also note, they're not using a fixed Brembo brake. They're using a floating caliper. That's why the N is on it. And these are 14.2 inch disc brakes. Huge disc brakes ventilated in the back are 12 inches. So they really thought about stopping because go power is awesome but woe power is more important. Note that you've got that N logo there as well. That red line continues to carry along and you'll see that N embossed right there. Let everyone know, yeah, I'm driving an N. I'm not just driving an Elantra. You'll notice as you move your way back, there's some glossy parts of this car, very similar to what you're seeing, but that red line carries itself all the way back to these 19 inch wheels and those 12 inch disc brakes. They've continued the same design cues that you'd seen on the outside of the other Elantras, but when you come around to the back, that's when things change a little bit. This is, if you're behind this vehicle in a traffic light, you're gonna know right away, this is not your average Elantra. Starting off with this double dipped wing, very cool. And again, the Kona, if you haven't checked that out, we've also reviewed the Kona. It also has a very unique wing that is very special to nothing but the ends. You've got these neat, tail lights that look very much like a lot of the tuner kids are doing. They're putting in the white tail lights and the red because you have to have that. Elantra is right here. And again, that N denoting that special car. Further down, that red line continues again. And that's pretty cool. And you've got the rear diffuser. Now check out these exhaust pipes. They're huge. They burble, they brap, they make noise. But when you put it in comfort mode, you don't hear it. You put it in the dynamic mode or the end mode, and there's a lot of grin going on. And there is a grin button actually when you get into it. So that when you get into it, it's that smile you get when you hear that exhaust and you go, oh, that sounds so awesome. And that it does. <laughs> has a lot of changes underneath as well. The suspension has been changed. Every single component in this car has been changed, including the bracing in the back. And that's important to note as well. Open the trunk right here, and you'll notice these red cross braces. Now, why are they here? Well, first off, that means the second row doesn't fold down. But what it does is it ties in here to the shock towers in the back, and it ties down to the frame in the middle. And that keeps the tire down on the ground so you get better contact, better handling. If you've, if you've ever autocrossed a vehicle like this, maybe like a Volkswagen Rabbit, you'll see that it almost like lifts its leg. It does that because all of the weight transfers. This keeps the tires down on the ground, which gives it better handling. And we'll show you that on the racetrack here at Sonoma. We're also gonna take it on an autocross and you can see how this vehicle is completely different than when you're looking at a regular Elantra. There's a lot of other changes as far as suspension and the handling, and that you can really tell immediately when you get in the vehicle. Let's take a look at the inside and I'll show you some of the details that are very special on these end cars. One last thing I wanna point out, these are sports racing seats. Now the N logo on the front is illuminated, but what you may not realize is these holes that are in the seat, 
They're right here. The reason they're there, it's for the shoulder harnesses. This is a serious car. And when they designed it, they thought, we want to have people go to an autocross. Now, as a past autocross champion, I will tell you, you leave the belts in the car. You tie them down to the bolts. And they're not supposed to be that way. If you're going on a real racetrack, you'll have a roll cage. But if you're going autocross and you get racing harnesses, tie them into the bolts down here. Harnesses go through here, and your lower sub belts would come up from the front. There is not a spot for a six-point harness, but a four-point harness for sure. In the back, you can see two child safety seats. Again, the seat doesn't fold down, but this is like an Alcantara type suede material, really nice. And they've done a nice job. And why you want this material is because you will stick to the seat in the corners. If you have a smooth material, you will slide in the seat, which anytime you're moving and you're not a part of the car, your times are not gonna be as good. And that's what they were thinking, all those little details where you can go to the track, you don't have to change tires, just adjust your tire pressures, get in this vehicle and go. So now that we've shown you all the exterior, the interior, we're gonna take this for a drive, see how she does on the streets. We will also take it on the track, but right now we're just gonna do the street, so you wanna stay with us to the end. First impression, this is fun to drive. It is a manual transmission, it's a six speed. There's a little bit of torque steer, but as, oh, I love the exhaust. But as we were told during our presentation, it was built in to make it more of an emotional feeling, which it does, and certainly not a bad one. I actually like it. I think this car is a great little pocket rocket. I mean, it's not too big, it's not too small, and it will handle. So my first thoughts are instant response. Love it. They're building fun cars. It doesn't have to be electric. I can fill up with gas beyond my way in seven minutes, take this thing to an autocross, take it to a road course. There's a lot of things you can do with this, have fun driving it every day and still be very useful. And the seats are super comfortable. Now I'm a big fan of the new technology that's in all of the Hyundai product line, as well as 100% of the safety features already built in standard. The only thing you're picking is automatic or manual and what color you want. Now this performance blue is their specialty color, but there's other really great colors. And this one happens to be the darker blue. It's almost a royal blue, very pretty, very purple, but everything in here is driver focused. As far as what you get in front of you, you can go into the N mode and that instantly changes a whole dynamic and gives you throttle input, oil temperature, engine temperatures, your lap times when you're on a track, down on the street, also the circuit, you can put that in here, it'll actually give you the map of the circuit right here in front of you. I, I can't look at the map and drive, but you could use that data later to help you improve your driving skills. Also your brake pressure, how much, what's the percentage of that? And I think that is also information that you don't get in most cars. I mean, you look at a lot of vehicles, and say, oh, we've got a performance pages and this and that. You don't always get all that information because it's not about necessarily going in a straight line. It's also about going around the corners. And this vehicle is designed for that. Now you can go into the rev match and have it on or off. I have it on because I think it sounds cool. Very easy to shift this vehicle as well. I love the burbling, the snapping, the popping of the exhaust. I haven't driven a car that had this kind of personality in a long time. Now in the past, Mini had this, or you could have a Miata and have some fun. Just love, I love the rev matching the exhaust note. Just a ton of fun sound and it's real. I would say Hyundai has definitely reached a new level of high performance fun for the street. This, the seats are comfortable, the vehicle's comfortable. I don't even care that the seats are manual because they're sport bucket seats and you can get them heated as well, which we need here as you can see I'm wearing a winter coat. It's pretty chilly out today. Let's see how she does. I'm liking it get in some trouble you need a radar detector the nice thing is all the information is in front of you and this vehicle does as it promises and that is a really nice refreshing thing to see when all we're getting is a lot of people saying our vehicle is the best in class best in class you know what drive it you make the determination this vehicle has a lot to offer and runs on 19 by 8 inch wide alloy wheels and Michelin performance tires I think the key thing is they stiffened the chassis They've improved the differential, the shift points, all the mapping on this vehicle, and you can tell right away that this vehicle is something you can drive on the street. But the one thing I like about it is you can take it to a racetrack and you can just drive it. 
Now, in the past, I've had vehicles, and you probably have as well, where you got to change the tires and, you know, make all these adjustments. You don't have to do that with this vehicle. You just go and you drive it. And I think this is one of the things that's going to help them sell even more of these vehicles. Now, this you're not going to see regular advertising for this car. You're going to see it at racetracks. You're going to see it amongst enthusiast publications and, of course, some of the forums. So if you have not seen it, you have not driven it, you definitely want to take this for a drive. This vehicle weighs just slightly under 3,300 pounds, 3,296. And I think that is really pretty light these days for a vehicle. You start adding all the safety features and everything. And they've done a nice job making it very detailed, very specific. There is little end markings, little Easter eggs all over the place. Special shifters, special seats, special steering wheel. This is what you want when you buy a special car. I love the blue stitching. It's just subtle. It's not too much. And the nice grippy steering wheel. Big, big improvement. I mean, for this price point, which we don't really know the price point, I'm going to guess it's going to be pretty reasonable in the 30s is my guess knowing Hyundai they come in market very strong and they do it for a reason because they want to capture the market and they've done that with their other product lines as well as the Palisade and the Kona come in at a good price point create loyal following keep improving the brand keep upgrading the trim levels offering more and more people stay with the brand and they've done an excellent job in having the 10-year 100,000 mile warranty they own their own steel plant. They've really controlled every bit of quality on this vehicle, and the results are a very impressive pocket rocket. Without getting too technical, the brakes are a floating caliper. They're not fixed Brembos, and they said they did that for a reason to keep the costs reasonable for the buyer and, of course, for replacement components. You can get brake pads anywhere. You can improve and get a higher quality ceramic pad if you wish. I just love how flat this car handles. Just too much fun. I'm liking it. I think they did a nice job. I've driven a lot of electric vehicles. I've driven a lot of hybrid vehicles. But this vehicle just has a lot of personality. And I think that's a key thing. Is that you're driving something that is very unique and very different. A lot of special features that are specific to N-Line. Not just the dash and the fact that you can change the different drive modes. Of course, you want it in the sport mode because this is going to be that fun to drive daily driver. And you can also change that center screen over to have all the information you would need for an autocross track, a road course, or just some spirited driving off track, of course. We wouldn't want to do this on the street. There's a lot of neat details that you may not notice in, in this vehicle. This blue line is really cool. It runs right along the side and sort of fades away. But then in addition, you've got your normal Elantra content. So nothing that makes you go, okay, I've never seen this before. This is really great. But there's a lot of extra special features. And yes, this is a six-speed shifter. And it is special to the car. And again, that blue coloring is right there. Really cool. You can also get an automatic if you wish. They were saying that most people are enjoying the automatic versus the manual. I guess it's a matter of opinion. And a manual parking brake for parking brake turns if we want to have a lot of fun. There's a lot of other neat features that are in this car that you might not notice. The seats are very cool. You get into these sport bucket seats and instantly you see that N logo. And then that blue, very subtle blue stitching that's in here. It's like an Alcantara material. And the seats are super comfortable, which I appreciate because it means you could drive it every day and have some comfortable seating. Heading back to the steering wheel on the left side, you've got your normal controls for volume and your different modes. But this is your first end button. And when you press that end button, you can go into a custom mode. And that end button, you can see that end right there, changes everything over here. So you can press the button to go to custom one. You can set it up how you want or standard. And the button on the left and the right allow you to set it up the way you want it. Very cool. Almost a BMW type button that actually gives you some fun and emotion. Right side of the steering wheel, that next end button. And I love this. That enables rev matching. In addition, standard. Everything is standard. We have Aluminum pedals. Aluminum pedals are standard. I'm, 
I've got the car in neutral, so I want to make sure it doesn't roll away. That is very cool. And in addition, your key is nothing unusual, but it does have an N on it. Very cool. There are some special exterior features like we covered. The interior has this really nice soft material and there's Harman Kardon audio in the Kona, but in this vehicle, they're using Bose. Wireless charging, tons of charge ports are available so you can keep your devices charged up while you're out having fun or just driving around in traffic. We had a lot of fun with this vehicle on the track, not just on the autocross course, but here at Sonoma Raceway. Remember, its direct competitors are the WRX, the GTI, and the Civic Type R. And I think there's a couple other vehicles that might compete in this category. If you're looking to buy something you can drive every single day, put it on the track every once in a while, and just have a spirited, fun time enjoying what you drive, the Elantra N is certainly something you should consider, and I certainly wouldn't overlook it. We don't have prices yet. They are coming, and when they do, I'll put them in the comments down below. And if I didn't answer your questions as we went through this, and I'm sure there's lots more content, we can go into specifications really deep. Put them in the comments down below. We'll open that conversation up. Anyone who owns something like this or is competing and thinking about buying one of these vehicles, put your comments down there too. We'd like to start the communication and open the community up. If you got value from this video, make sure to like and share it with your friends. And by the way, I forgot to mention, zero to 60, five seconds, pretty good for a daily driver. You can also follow us on all forms of social media at Lauren Fix and check out our content on our channel in English and in Spanish at carcoachreports.com. And I'm also co-hosting a podcast called Total Car Score. It's available on all platforms. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate your comments. Thanks for subscribing and we'll see you next time.